all the sun. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson to talk about how long it sticks around. Hey, good evening, Mike and Shree. Well, you know, George has been out in Goodyear, Arizona. That's not far from Phoenix, so he thought he was escaping winter. Let me take you to Las Vegas, obviously a few hours away from Phoenix, but hey, this is the strip in Vegas. That's right. They had heavy snow last night. Believe it or not, some areas measuring between two, three, four inches of snow out there on the Las Vegas strip, and you can see it was coming down fast and furious for a while. Again, the biggest snow they've seen out there in Las Vegas in about 10 years, so a winter wonderland for Sin City indeed. So here we are back closer to home. No snow around here. In fact, finally some dry weather. It is nice to be able to stretch together a couple of days of dry conditions as we look at a rising Ohio River with some barges floating by 46 degrees right now officially at the airport. Obviously no rain since midnight. Winds haven't been terribly strong throughout the day. We've got ourselves a nice looking evening. I know skies or clouds have rolled in, but it's going to stay dry. Temperatures will slowly slip through the 40s, so not too bad for mid to late February and eventually down into the upper 30s by the time you join us back here for News 5 at 11 o'clock. All right, we've got high clouds streaming in because there's plenty of rain to our south, but that rain is going to stay to our south as it looks to remain dry for us through at least late tomorrow night. I think if you've got Friday evening and night plans, you're probably still in pretty good shape as of this point. Around the area right now, not too bad for this time of the year. Most of us in the middle to upper 40s, 48 in Maysville, 47 Loveland, Mason at 45, 44 in Hamilton, you're 44 in Harrison. You're in the low 40s over in southeast Indiana. So let's have a check of future cast here. You'll see the clouds kind of come and go throughout the night. These aren't rain making clouds. These are those high thin clouds. So tonight if you step outside, you look up at that moon, you might actually be able to see that nice ring around the moon due to these high clouds scooting by. So they'll come and go throughout the day on Friday as well. I think tomorrow looks a lot like today. Now the only change is that there may be a few showers that kind of skirt across our southernmost communities late tomorrow afternoon. But notice up along the Ohio River and points to the north. It is dry through your Friday evening. Now, after midnight tomorrow night, rain chances will begin to ramp up, especially by daybreak on Saturday. And unfortunately, Saturday is looking to be a washout around here. Even if it's not raining every minute of the day, it is going to be wet with maybe even some thunderstorms possible Saturday evening. So mostly cloudy and cool tonight. Not bad. We'll drop close to freezing about 33 for a low and then tomorrow mostly cloudy, but most importantly still dry How about 48 for a high. Here's your day planner starting out near freezing in the morning and then climbing into the upper 40s during the afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. There's a look at the threat for some storms on Saturday evening and then that's 62 on Sunday. That's around midnight, Mike and Sheree. I don't want you to be deceived by that as it will be a lot cooler on Sunday and I'm keeping an eye on Sunday for very good gusty winds as well. And then as I was telling you yesterday, as we get closer to the end of the month and more towards March, signs are it's going to turn a lot colder with maybe more snow opportunities. Mm. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs>